Hi guys, recently Junior and I had some indoor fun with the WPLC34KM and with the MN model D90. Driving two vehicles at the same time is now possible thanks to this new micro RC based transmitter. The build video for this transmitter will follow soon. Unfortunately there was a little issue. A lot of white smoke escaped from the C34. What? So let's investigate what the issue was. The MOSFETs on the ESC look fine, no burn marks. The receiver as well. But look at this motor wire. Completely burned down. Horrible. The cheap PVC insulation is completely molten and burned down. But why? Maybe this capacitor has gone short circuit, or the motor has burned? First let's test whether or not the ESC is still intact. For this test I will use my new transmitter and the motorized SIL 137 trailer. Works fine. So the ESC is not the culprit here. Now let's test the capacitor. Has it gone short circuit? No, as you can see it has almost exactly 100 nanofarad. This is ok. Maybe the motor windings are burnt? No, 1.5 ohms is what we expect. So what was the culprit? Well. The maximum stall current of this upgraded motor is about 9 amps as you can see on the clamp meter. This is fine for this 20 amp rated ESC. But is it fine for the wiring as well? As you can see the copper diameter is only 0.5 mm. This is equal to only 0.2 square millimeter cross section. Horrible. But what does this mean? Well, this wiring will only be able to carry a continuous current of about 2 amps. No wonder it overheated at about 9 amps maximum current. The shrink tube protection I added made the overheating issue even worse. Bad idea. At least the scrape test says the wires are made of copper. This is not always the case in cheap Chinese wires. Sometimes they are made of aluminium or even of steel. So what is the conclusion? Well, be careful with cheap Chinese wires. They could set your house on fire. And how did I fix this issue? Well, I soldered the ESC wires directly to the motor terminals. The ESC wires have a silicon insulation which is able to handle more heat. The diameter of the copper is about 0.6 mm, still not really thick. As you can see I was able to fix it. And by the way, the MND90 has a 2 speed gearbox now, the video will follow soon. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss upcoming episodes. Bye!